Biggie was just telling us that his girlfriend. Now, see if I got this these details. Right, I heard half of this. His girlfriend was coming. <laughs> well, he was bearing his soul. He was. And I just was like half listening. But he said that the girlfriend was coming to be there at his apartment, which is in downtown. It's a downtown area. And there was no parking. She couldn't park in the lot. Yep. Visitor spots were full. Okay. And then. Street parking full. And then I, so I said, but, you know, even the radio station is like a mile away. And I said, she could have just parked here and walked the mile. And uh, Biggie said, she's not going to do that. Mm-hmm. And Biggie said there was parking closer, like a half mile away, mm-hmm. that she could have parked. And I said, well, wouldn't you think, since she was going to stay like the night, wouldn't she walk the half a mile? And Biggie said, no. No, no she's not going to walk a half a mile. Mm-hmm. From no. home. Yeah. Can you not see that they're the perfect pair? No. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You're like, why yeah, didn't you no. just walk a mile in the dark? Yeah. <laughs> Alone through the city. Heck No. <laughs> I mean, it's cloddish and insensitive, and <laughs> no. like you said, you're not even under. Look at the couple. Yeah, no, but what, look I, at the pair. Look at the simpatico. But you said there was parking a half mile away, and I thought, couldn't you ride with her to the parking spot and then walk? But you two, Bro, walk. he's got a shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to shirt up for a parking no. excursion. So she just drove on home. No, because then she'd still have to get up in the morning and walk to wherever mm-hmm. this place was. Plus, she is a. Uh, typical gen what's gen z gen z yeah. you know she's she just turned 30 yeah and uh i swear no matter where she goes she has more stuff with her so I mean, she couldn't she even carry in, it yeah like she comes into my place every time she stays over uh-huh. with bag upon bag i mean there's a work bag there's her purse there's which every girl under 30 now carries one of these yeah uh, 40 ounce stanley mugs yeah. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. I've seen that. I mean, she just has all the... Every time she comes in... I get a text every time. It says, open the door. Uh-huh. <laughs> so uh-huh. I'm like, oh, here she comes. So I open the door, and in she crashes with all her stuff. But even still, it seems to me she could have dropped that stuff with you, and then you all ride the car a half mile park, and then walk a half the mile... The pair walk back? <laughs> to, walk no, back. And no. to me, a half mile is two times around a track. You know, that's not that long of a distance. It takes you... Maybe ten minutes. You walk a half mile. You know, it's a few few football fields. You walk across it, and then she's there for the night. And maybe even that night, you you go out. You take a look if there's a parking spot available. You walk the half mile back and drive the car back. It was already seven thirty when she was trying to do this. You know, okay. I just felt like you know, young love. A half mm-hmm. mile was not that, but she drove on home. At you know, how how far does she live away driving? Uh, about twenty minutes. So she drives on home, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. it. No yeah. date. There's no. That's no, well. There's no date night. It didn't go smoothly either, because of course we were in a little tiffed over this. Because I've lived down there for a while. Yeah. And I said early in the day. Yeah. I think tonight may be a little iffy with parking. Because baseball game, baseball, baseball game, going game on. yes. Yeah, yeah. And I said, I've, you know, I said, what if you want, you should just park here early, mm-hmm. have your friend pick you up, mm-hmm. drop you back off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why didn't she park a half mile away and then you just drive her back? I thought about that, but it, she did not want to park that far away because the next day she was going to walk a half yeah, exactly. mile solo. Yeah, solo a half mile at what seven thirty in the morning, seven yeah, o'clock yeah, in the morning. Yeah, and carry all her stuff. And the parking down there is a little. There's places I wouldn't want to leave my car. Oh, okay. Overnight. Either. Okay, I see. Um. So, but because I gave this idea, mm-hmm. I what I shouldn't have said, but I did say was this is what I was worried about. Mm-hmm. I said this earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, you did the I told you so. I, man, yes. fix things. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's like, "Well, that idea was stupid." And I'm like, "Well, it's not stupid now, is it?" Oh, yeah. You know, because you didn't get the parking space. Exactly. Right. And Chris Tim said, You're the perfect pair because neither of you wanted to walk. Remember, uh-huh. one of uh-huh. the first times we really encountered the, the true diva that is Biggie is oh. when he had a parking incident parking. involving the baseball team. Parking. That's right. You yeah. had no parking. You were supposed to do an appearance for the, the show at the baseball stadium, and there was no parking down there. And you needed like $4 to park, and you didn't have any money. No. You forgot your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> One of the best. Were you supposed to throw out the first pitch? I can't remember yeah, what you there, there was. They couldn't. They, they had to cancel the game. Nobody yeah. threw out the first. There was nobody there to throw out the first pitch. And Biggie called us and said, "Somebody get down there and throw the pitch." There's nowhere to park. I can't park. <laughs> they I wouldn't let me park. park. Yeah. So now there's park. Now there's pay parking everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Biggie did not have a wallet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what you could have done? 
You could have had her just park a half mile down, give her the ride back to your house. Then that next morning, when you get up very early, you drive your car to her car. Then you take her car back to your place. Then you walk back to where your car. You left your car at her old parking space. space. It gives you a half mile. Each of you have to walk one half mile. We're not married. (laughs) Just half mile. Half mile. Let me say something about generation. She's generation Z. Is that what she is? Yeah. Young. Yeah. Young. Young 30. Okay. I think even, I just read this. I was stunned. Do you know what restaurant has really been catering to generation Z? Millennials totally left them. And it was probably, we've probably done a report on millennials have things killed. Millennials yeah, killed. Yeah. Like there's a lot of that, yeah. you know, things millennials yeah. killed. This was one of the restaurants millennial, millennials killed, but Gen Z has been bringing it back. Applebee's. I was going to say Did Applebee's. You, were you going to say that? Huh? I was. Applebee's <laughs> apparently has done. Oh, yeah. We're CPRing Applebee's. We're CPRing Applebee's. <laughs> Listen, it started with that song. Yep. That fancy like song helped them. Yep. Uh, that's and you're, right. You're right. I think that's because, right. you know, <laughs> I don't know why, but Gen Z has started Applebee's. And I think they love their like two for 25. That's it. They're saving money. Yeah. That's. I just read it. And it wasn't by accident. They started marketing to Gen Z. Uh, the, the CEO of Applebee's, uh, has told their, their industry newspaper, their industry magazine, that the brand has increased its relevance and by going viral with the song. And then they hired a very in touch social media team and they teamed up with a company called Winky Lux and lost saucy gloss, which is a <laughs> lip gloss line inspired by their wing sauces and marketed it to 20 year olds. Mm-hmm. And apparently it sold very well and brought 20 year olds back into yeah. the restaurant where they've sold them food at a low price. And also, I think they started doing like dollar drinks. And yes. St- I mean, they yes. they played it right. Yes, they have. They have the dollar margaritas. Dollar drinks on certain nights, and they have flooded social media to advertise to very young people. These are twenty-one to twenty-five year olds that they're that they're hypersensitive on, and they say that younger demographic is flocking to Applebee's now. Mm-hmm. Which who would have thought? Who would have Not ever me. thought that? I well, know. and you're right about the millennials leaving because, see, to me, I mm-hmm. went to Applebee's mm-hmm. a ton growing up. Yeah, that was like my grandparents' favorite spot. It's when older we came people, to town. you think? Yeah, right? and then it was just like that's where every birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Applebee's or Chili's. Yeah. And so I think millennials might have left because we all ate there so much. Oh, maybe. Well, the the generation Z when they started Saucy Gloss, which is the lip gloss that has the flavor of their wing sauces, they also marketed it with a TikTok song called Taste My Face. And <laughs> Taste My Face <laughs> went big on TikTok. And since then, they've done very, very well. Uh, Applebee's has done very, very well. Crazy. It's a, it's a stunning development here. I would have never guessed that in a million years, but that's how they're doing it. They're marketing for that group.